enough in there. I put some wood chips, some fresh dry wood chips over them and hopefully they'll make it. Good morning you guys, Laura here from Hedgehog's Homestead. Oh my goodness. The rain has finally stopped out. Let's see how much rain is in the rain gauge. Our final total, I don't think it got much more than four, if it got to four inches, but let's go look. And then we'll check on the babies and see if they made it through the night. Here's our rain gauge, and I guess I didn't get much more than it's just a little under four. So the garden is loving it. Um, lots of growth in the garden. Everything's standing up nice and happy, except for um, this is all um, damage from uh, squash bugs. So I've been dealing with, I've actually ripped a couple plants out because of the squash bugs, guys. It's been really bad. Um, I have not sprayed at all this year. And so, like this plant here, um, and it looks like I have a couple cucumbers to pick still. I'm still getting a lot of fruit and stuff. Um, next year I'll do succession sowing, um, which can really work out really well here. There's another little baby pumpkin. Um, but, you know, we're going over our trellis now. So, that's what I wanted. Another cucumber over there. So, I need to come back and pick some cucumbers. Um, got some lettuce growing under all of this. Um, I have no idea what that is. I know I sewed it and I can't remember what it is. Um, got lots of pumpkins coming on. Something came in here. You see that, guys? Uh, oh. Something big. Okay. Well, something with teeth that look like that. Probably a rabbit or something. Tomatoes are not going to be very big this year, but pumpkins galore. And looks like some of my corn is coming down. These ears aren't totally full yet, so I'll wait for that to pick them up. And it just is the way it is here in Tennessee when you have a storm. Got some more cucumbers coming up over here. Um, planted those just a couple days ago got some carrots that are going to be picked soon. Some more carrots. I picked a bunch just the other day. My cardboard's all over the place. Ugh. It was quite a big storm, guys. So, it's just the way it is. Now let's go check on those babies. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Everybody's on their feet. Yeah. Good morning, guys. I'll show a picture above, guys, of what what I came up to. I mean, this young one right here, this um, turkey right here. Honestly, I thought she was gone. She was barely breathing, guys, when I brought them in. But there they go. They're all doing well. Yeah. Okay. Hey, turkey. I guess I can take this towel out of here. What I did is I brought them in here in this brooder area that I always have set up. It's kind of like a little nursery slash chicken, sick chicken area slash, you know, whatever. I'll bring them some more of their grow food. Just because these guys are meat birds, 
doesn't mean that we give them our best or don't give them our best or give them a second chance. Okay. Um, here on Hedgehog's Homestead, we started growing our own meat because we didn't like the way that they were treated on farms. Um, it's the same meat bird that you would find growing at your Tyson chicken uh, place. But we treat these guys with the love that the Lord has given us for animals until they're processed. They have one bad day. These guys had a really bad day the other day and I felt like a total failure. I got them just in time and they're alive and I'm thankful for it. They have a little vinegar in their water to kind of boost their immune system. I'll get them some food in just a little bit, but they look fantastic guys. This little guy was laying on her back, looking totally lifeless. This guy was laying on his back, kicking his legs like he was dying. And the two chickens were just sitting there, or this, this chicken back here was sitting on his back. And then this guy was just hunkered down with his eyes closed, just frozen. So treat your birds good, whether they're meat birds or not, because they deserve it. And you'll have a healthier meat. I do it for the love of animals that was given me to me from the Lord of above. And uh, just because they're food, it doesn't mean that we don't need to treat them right until their final day. Okay, so these guys are gonna come out soon. Yeah, these are my, um, I need to clean this out. These guys are my uh, Americanas. The black and white one is a rooster, so. Um, and then the other one, I hope is not a rooster, <laughs> but you can definitely see he's a rooster. Um, so, um, and he's, you know, got those beautiful green feet, you know, um, so looking forward to these guys. Yeah, they want to eat the zucchini. They want to eat the zucchini. Come here and look at these guys just standing at the door. They're all standing at the door for me this morning. The, the birds that were the bird, problem. Yeah. Oh, you want to go swimming, Bubba? There's Polly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, blew over in the storm. See them? Yeah, that's good. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. Huey and Louie are talking of today. Yeah, well, they always are when I'm in here. Yeah. They're like, hurry up, do your stuff, and get out. Yeah. Look how good they look. Oh, look at Polly flying. Yeah. Um, don't be surprised if Polly ends up flying out of here. Um, yeah. Look in how and good out those geese look. I know, they're gorgeous. Look at them. Do we know if that's a Huey and a Louina? Or is it we have no idea and there's no way no way to tell other than um getting them like dna tested yeah yep so and then i think holly right here i'm pretty sure that's a girl um you think i should look her wings well we don't want her to fly away do we no we're not feeding her short Right, well, yeah. Um, the thing is, um, you might get a turkey flying in here impregnating her. We'll get half wild turkey. Hi, Bubba's. Hi, Bubba, you're so cute. So cute. You're getting, your eyes are getting more droopy. Yeah. Like, 
like uh, Astros. You need some water. Okay, well, well I better, I water, better make so. sure that these guys have everything they need. I need to get them some more food real quick. Okay. Excuse me, you guys. Hi. Hi. Watch out. Watch your little foot. <sighs> Guys, I was on the verge of tears yesterday, I'm telling you. The verge of tears. I love my animals. Yeah, look at you guys. That's um, how much water we got after. <laughs> after I emptied it once. So... I'm gonna go move uh, our other chickens and we'll check on them too. And I'll bring be these uh, meat birds back some food. Um, and uh, just get everything kind of wrapped up for this morning. I don't have to water because um, God took care of that. And uh, yeah. So exciting stuff. When I checked on them every two hours yesterday, um, what I did to, I got them out of the, the cold area and put them in that brooder area. I didn't put a heat lamp on them. I kind of covered them in, um, there was dry wood chips in there because I kind of always keep it ready to go for a sick animal. And um, I put the wood chips on top of them. They kind of laid there lifeless for the first two hours. And then, um, I came back at, after the first two hours and got them a towel, put a towel on top of them. And then the rain kind of stopped and it started warming up. And then I, uh, I went ahead and um, uh, checked on them two hours later and the first two birds the uh, not the turkeys they took it the hardest the first two birds were on their feet um, the two chickens and um, and then I came back two hours later and the big turkey was up on his feet and then I came back that evening last night and um, the little turkey was sitting up. Still had the towel on her. <laughs> so I took the towel off of her and she sat up there and I put the food close to her and the water. And this morning, everybody was standing up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So here's our other meat chickens. Big and well feathered, and they're using that board to keep dry. So I'm just going to feed them and give them some more water, and that's going to be it. I'm probably not going to move them today. Not going to worry about that. So we'll just take care of that. There we go. They're moved, and uh, I'll put the boards back up. Um, not right now. Um, I moved them because they get out when I when I. Uh, move them because the door opens up and they really love foraging for bugs and things so I take care of that or I get excited because they're excited to be out looking for bugs and when you move them they have the same opportunity in this area to get bugs and fresh grass so you can see there they're going for that fresh grass and finding bugs they're not even all over their food so, which for this breed is kind of unheard of, but they love the, they love the bugs and the grass. So, which means better food for us. So there you go. You can see where I've moved them since they've been in the chicken tractor. And the last, the first place that they were is already getting new grass. So, um, that grass and make it come up again just by pulling on it and cutting it the way they cut it with their their jowls, their beaks. When any animal pulls on a grass, 
um, and eats it off like cows do. And, sorry, other animals. Um, it actually uh, sends a signal to the roots that it needs to grow again um, instead of going dormant and going to seed. That also keeps it from going, going to seed too. So, um, anyways, <laughs> little lesson for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these other chickens and get that done. And we'll be done for the day. Look at my little watermelons coming up there. See that? Love that. <laughs> my big old pumpkin right there. Looks like I got a tomato to pick, but I'm gonna wait a couple days for that. And it looks like I'm gonna have to cut Polly's wings. Chris will help me do that, if we can catch her. Because she's a heritage bird, so they can fly. Okay, babies, here you go, fresh food, fresh food. There we go, yummy, yummy. This is the one that was sick first. And then I noticed this one here. Um, but you can tell the least feathered ones, um, the turkeys don't have the greatest feathering either, are the ones that got sick first, so. All right, Tom. I didn't name him Tom. I just think he's a Tom, so. All right. Maybe later we'll come out and cut Polly's wings over here. We'll see. All right, you guys, thanks for watching this update on our chickens. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you are as relieved as I am. God bless. And we'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. Bye.